Bro, like, give him one job and he can't even get the mess in. If you're not prepared to slaughter, then you shouldn't eat me, and no. I'm not prepared to slaughter. This is just beginning. Hello, my name's Ethan. Um, I'm a professional sidequester, so I go as. Yo, General G here. Hi, my name is Maddie, and. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm a TikToker. Hey, my name is Nick, I'm 23 years old and I now do social media full time. So I've got 5 million followers on TikTok and I am here to attempt the survival of a TikToker. This is, I'm a TikToker. Get me out of here, you're all excited. Yes. You're all excited? Yes. Right, I'm Steve, one of your instructors and we've got the wild man frizzle all the way down from the Discovery Channel. Hello everyone, my name is Jamie, Wild Man Frizzell. I'm well known for being on the Discovery Channel Naked and Afraid show and I'm here hosting this challenge for the TikTokers, survival of the TikToker. Through this experience we are going to put you through your paces. You're going to be building shelter, making fire, navigating, finding, preparing, cooking your own food. Only one of you can be crowned as the survival of the TikToker. Come on! How you become crowned the survival of the TikTok day? You've got to compete. You've got to do challenge together, an individual challenge, and you're going to get scored by me, the wild man, and external guests. So here, my name is Stephen Kelly, survival underscore Steve. So my role in this is a instructor uh, under the umbrella of Southwest Survival, and the stuff we're going to be going through with these TikTokers is uh, bushcraft skills, survival skills, the main core for shelter, fire, water, food. We're going to put them through the paces. They're going to be eating bugs. They're going to be eating a fox, which they don't know about yet. They're going to be eating rabbits, pigeon, squirrel, pheasants. So it's quite fun. How do I feel about the other contestants? So we got the general, of course. He's a, a character. Um, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to seeing how he's going to put a shelter together, start a fire, and I'm just going to. I'm just going to enjoy like watching him do activities. No, 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 no. I, I, I face everything head on because I'm general and everyone looks up to me. Do you know what I mean? So everyone wants me to do a certain thing. I'll do it. I won't even blink. It will get done. Do you know what I mean? If you if you're getting if you're a role model for a lot of people, then obviously you do everything without question. And I've done everything I possibly can for my fans, and I'll keep. I'll keep doing that, do you know what I mean? If we do have to cook anything, like I said, well, I don't know anything about the challenge, but if we do have to cook anything, I'm gonna be the chef because I'm not I'm not trusting any of these boys. They probably couldn't even cook beans on toast, so I don't think they're gonna be able to cook something that's not alive. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready. The instructors, you know, we was having a laugh, they were having a pint, I was chilling, drinking an energy drink, relaxing, and I think, oh, lovely guys, you know, I think they're really nice guys. I just have a feeling, deep down in my heart that tomorrow they're not going to be so nice. It's all about winning jungle dollars to win these challenges. First challenge is going to be a physical activity. We've got to get to our location and it's two miles away. And if you don't look over your left shoulder now, the first thing you see is a big massive hill. When I say go, nice and fast, I want you to pick your bags up, get in one straight line facing that way. Any questions? Is that a go! Nice and slow just to start me, okay? Okay, everyone, there's a cow, great, coming up. Mate, you good? Yeah, of course, if you want to stop, you let me know, alright? I'll do it, I'm going to get to the top. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. No problem, mate, don't need to explain, that's cool. <laughs> you Germans got a lot further than I thought. Third play is out here. A lot of you wouldn't have done this, but a lot of you didn't. I'm really proud of you, General. He's done really well. It's, I'm not used to fresh air as well. I don't go outdoors and it's so overwhelming, I know you're told, but but you're out here, look how far you've came. Yes. Well done general. Well done. Thanks, there you go, you've done it my man, well done. Honestly. Welcome to Southwest Survival, this is our survival camp. Like we spoke about earlier on. This whole week is all about jungle dollars to be crowned. I am a TikToker, get me out of here. Your goal is to win jungle dollars. When it comes to survival, you have priorities, four priorities we work in, and that's shelter, fire, water, food. That's all we work on. We can, we can turn it to protection location, water, food, and fire comes under protection. But what you're gonna work on today is shelter, fire, 
water, food. We're working the rules of freeze. Three minutes without air, three hours in extreme conditions. Whether that's in the desert, in the heat, the sun's coming on you, you're going to start going down with heat exhaustion or dehydration. If you're in the Arctic, you haven't got a shelter, you're going to start going down with hypothermia. So you need to be out the elements within three hours. So your first challenge today is we're going to work on a shelter. We're going to pay you up. So Ethan, you're going to be with the G-Dog. You're going to be with the General. Nick, Maddie, let's see if we can bring your romance alive. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can bring the couple back together. So you're going to be working together on your shelters, all right? We're not going to really tell you how to build a shelter, but what I'm going to say to you is, there's a lot of wriggly tin lying about, big roofing, metal roofing. There's a lot of that lying about. There's a lot of big logs. We will mentor you, but we want to see what you come up with. Right, so your location, it, who's going to be staying in this area is going to be Maddie and Nick. This is going to be your location. As you can see, as soon as you get low, there's no wind blowing on you. This is the reason why we use this location. It's up to you to come up with whatever idea you think you've got, but you've got to be safe. You just can use whatever you want. There's loads of tin, there's loads of boards. Um, I want you raised off the ground. That's probably your most important thing. Get off that ground so the, the floor is not absorbing your body heat. Any questions, Nick and Maddie? Crack on in your location. We'll be watching you throughout. Ethan, General, this is your location. Remember, like I said, build a bed. Build something, there's pallets everywhere. Get yourself raised off that ground and then build a decent roof. Remember, if you're using Wrigley Tin, like Jamie said, make sure you're being safe and you're putting logs on top of it to hold that down. Yeah. Crack on with the lads, I want to see your hard work and don't forget to get all your content and we'll be popping in and out in between. I'm excited, man, he just looks like struggling with the log right now. We're about to build our shelter. I'm ready. Show them how it's done. You sleep down there, that's the thing. That's big enough to, um, what's it called? Unless we use bricks to raise it up, we can use bricks to raise it up. Like here, I've used some bricks to raise it up and that's big enough to sit up. So all we've got to do is put bricks on this massive log and that's the way to do it, I reckon. How are we feeling, guys? Do we Good. think we've got the best location? Uh, I don't know, but they're nicking all the pallets, so I'm gonna go grab some. We, it's essentially to keep the wind from going at both directions but not at the sides because that'll lose the heat so I'm trying to foliage the sides and then I've got to fill it with leaves and whatever. Pretty positive, not uh, broken yet so that's a good thing I guess but I just I can't lift anything like everything is so heavy. These shelters are looking really good just now I like this the glass roof so they can watch the stars at night if it's going to be a clear night but I'm very interested in this one down here. It looks pretty big. Looks as though it's got a secured roof. Do you think you can both fit in here tonight? Listen, we will indeed, man. It's looking good anyway, I like it, I do. As soon as you get the fire on, heat the place up. But let's go and check this out, it looks pretty big. Really, you want the shelter to be up to chest height of the tallest person. However, low, it keeps, keeps you away from the wind. So I like this, I like the look of this. The, the thing I'm looking out for is practicality. Once they get in there and moving around and settle down for the night, that's when we'll see if the shelter is good enough. But it's nice and big. It's got a good roof on it. I'm excited to see how it, how it puts up with tonight. For a little while now, I want you to think about survival and scavenging. Now you've been scavenging building shelters this morning. In the site over there, there were lots of other things that I've scavenged and you could scavenge. But I've got them here so that you don't have to go ferreting over there. I've got them all here for you to use. What we're going to try and get you to make is a wood gas stove. And when you're in a survival situation, when you're cooking, you don't want to be wasting A, the heat or the resource because you've struggled to get it, you've kept it dry, and then you want to get the maximum effect from it. So that's what we're going to try and make. So the tins that you've seen around the area where you've built your, your shelters are tins like this, yeah? Did you see any of them over there? Some of you've gathered a couple together. There's four sets there. And what I'll do to begin with is show you how we're going to transform that into this. So the first thing you want to do is decide which of these tins is going to fit inside the other one. Now if you're really lucky, you'll get two tins that are slightly different in their diameter. 
but I've taken the liberty of bringing some tin snips, some large nails, some tiny little hammers and some pliers. So you'll all get the chance to use these in a minute for making your tins and making your wood gas stove. Once you've got your tin decided, this one's going to be the, the lid, that one's going to be your base. All you've got to do is make some big holes around the bottom. So with your hammer and with your nail, and you could use a stone or a sharp spike when you're scavenging for things, and you just pick this out. And the groove that's on here just lends itself to you making some, some holes. So you get the idea, if that's not going to be big enough, because you can see on this one, I've made them bigger. Again, with a spike, you just e enlarge them. Now, we're going to cut the top in here and we've got to make that so that this one will push down inside of it. So the first thing we've got to do is decide that this ring on here is going to be the outside diameter that we're going to bend to but we need to cut this middle section out and then trim it. I think they're doing all right. They all, they all seem keen. They all seem to get amongst it. Uh, I think General G was uh, having a little sleep before, so I think he's going to be a bit lost in a minute. But now nah, looking at them all, they're all keen. They're all learning. They're all getting amongst it. I'm proud of them. Oh, he's already on it. Bits of light in it, so we would now feed it in through the top with nice little dry sticks. Nothing very big. They're doing great man, and do you know what I like? I like how focused they are, they're tuned right in, they're ready to do the challenge. There's some good progress here, definitely. We're going to get some good fires when they go tonight. So what I've just learned is how to make a wood stove using two different cans, putting them together and using a third can, sticking it in there. And what we're utilising is all the heat and the smoke, which then burns a lot hotter. And you're saving, you're saving resources and you're saving time and it boils your water a lot quicker. Oh, this is going to come in useful massively for later. This is going to be for them to boil water. It's going to be for them to keep the fire burning and keep them warm. So, And it's going to save their resources instead of just having a big massive open fire all night. If they just want to get a little cup of tea on the go, they can just do this and they're not throwing loads of wood on a big fire. They can just throw on a little stove. I've made a couple of mistakes so far, but first time doing this, so it's not going to be perfect. But we can try our best. Hard to make the holes, but I think I've made some okay holes. Not too bad. But we'll see, we'll see. They're a bit wonky, but it's about if it cooks, not if it uh, looks nice, yeah. Doing all right. I feel like they're doing really well. It's, uh, it's good to see it. They're, as we all know, the, the TikTokers. And they're quite tough to be honest. They're not just sitting at home on their phones, uh, which my perception was. They're actually getting out here, doing a good course, doing good training, but they're doing great content alongside. And I've just realised once they built the stoves and they got a fire going, time is of the essence. It doesn't stop. Oh, oh, so we need to build a stove, we need to build a fire, cook food. Finish your shelters. Boil water. Boil water. Um, oh man. I um, literally right handed, so I, I, I tried my best with the help of this master. So I did I did pretty good, yeah. Um, can't wait to use it to cook some fox. That'd be nice. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think General was actually. General's fussing. And yes. You're yeah. happy with it? Looking forward to cooking. Yeah, I cannot wait to get some food, to be honest. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm absolutely proud of them. Here. It's good seeing them, how they're all stepping up, having a bit of banter with each other, cheerfulness in the face of adversity, the wet, the cold, and they're still cracking on. Uh, it's a long time, but three days to come. E Ethan wants to do 15 days out here. Let's see what he says to me on Friday morning. That's what he said. He wants 10. to leave Saturday morning, I was thinking now. I'm freezing, I'm looking outside yet. Yeah. So when you're in your shelter, you've got your fire going, and your toes are feeling cold, because you've still got your boots on, take your boots off. And get them in your pile of armpits. To be fair, that is actually get, quite warm. If you want to do it, go barefoot. On fire linking, we've got many different methods. We've got 
the easy option which is a lighter. Now I would always say if you're going out, uh, even just a hike or something like that, take a lighter with you. A lot of people want to be fancy and they take bow drills and they take flints and steels and stuff. They end up in a real survival situation and they can't get a fire going. Take a lighter, make it as easy as possible. But of course, we things like this, it's nice to show off, it's nice to practice different methods, alright? Does anyone know what this is called? An F? No. Firestarter. So this is a ferro rod. A ferro rod. This is completely man-made, you cannot find this in, in nature at all. This is an alloy metal, and it's really, really soft, and that's one of the reasons why that's one of the reasons why it creates a spark, because it's very, very soft. I'll put my base on, just as Steve says, we need it off the, the damp ground. If you put your hand on there, it gets damp pretty quickly. So I'll put my, my birch bark on top and I'll just give it a little scrape. Just like that, to fluff it up a little bit. And what you're doing is you're creating little oxygen gaps, because fire needs oxygen. Don't need to go crazy and, and strike the hell out of it, just Nice and soft. And as you can see, there's already a wee flame. Mm. And from there, we would manipulate it like that to grow the flame. Then we would grab more tinder, such as dry grass, hay, small sticks, and slowly put them on top until they've ca caught fire. I can serve my breath right now, and just let the, the wind do the work. I could also place it on there. And you are going to have your blocks here. Before you get to this point, you would split these into little matchstick size, size pieces of fuel. When you get a flame, you put your little sticks on top. They would catch flame. Don't smother it. We're trying to give it as much oxygen as possible, but we want to give it fuel as well. So it's a nice even balance. And once you start playing around with this, you'll soon realise what the even balance is. It's like baking a cake, innit? The most important piece of kit you're going to have on you is your knife. You're going to want to use that as little as possible, which means you're going to have to dress game in other methods. You're going to put your foot on its wing, like that, nice and tight up to its body. Foot on another wing. And move it about until your feet are right up close to that animal, okay? And then you're going to reach behind, grab the legs, straight back, pull straight up. And you're left with a good piece of meat in there. Hey, listen, I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to get a hog roast going. Oh, fire, no, we're going to, we got to, we've got to do our shelter first, because it's all... We'll have to come back to soon. Man, this shelter is not ready, is it? Morale definitely is dropping, uh, it is cold and it is wet, however they've got good resources, they've got good materials and they've got the knowledge as well. As long as they've got the willpower and the determination, they'll be able to do it. The first named storm of the year, Henk, brought gusts of up to 100 miles an hour, falling trees. Henk also dumped yet more rain across a country still soaked from last year's storms. Obviously guys, weather conditions, Storm Hank were absolutely awful, so we had to sleep in the hay barn. And it might sound like cheating, but that was still absolutely awful weather. Freezing cold. Really wish I slept where you slept last night, mate. Big mistake not coming to see you. And um, yeah, the instructors were asleep, so I stole loads of cotton wool off them, you know? You might call it cheating, but I call it tactical. Right, so starting a fire. Get all that cleaned up. With flint and steel. Let's give it a go. Trying to get a fire go. There we go. Because I'm cheating with cotton wool, but it's all good. It's not cheating, it's tactical play, like I say. That's it. That's it. Look at this, I've, I found this, it's so heavy. But I found it somewhere just hovering around here. So heavy. A lot of it was. It's so damp, the stuff in here. Hopefully the instructors don't see the cotton wool though. It's not going to win me any jungle dollars. Rabbit looks pretty tasty. Ate a bit of pheasant last night. 
How was the pheasant? Done the job. We'll get some matchsticks going. Get that for me, please. I'm cheating with this with this cotton wool. There we go. I'll just blow the flame out myself. I've got a chewing gum in my mouth. It's good enough for me. And he said, let there be light. Getting too excited. What they, where are they? Where are the boys? Are they in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah they are. Oh, Josh no, is yeah. down there filming. General, surely he's not there yet? No, General's not. Of course he's not. Um, what we're having today for breakfast is pigeon. All you're going to have today is the breast in a survival situation or you'll eat it all. But just to get a bit of calories in you, no messing about and I've had these now for two days. I just want you to have the breast meat out of it. So I'm happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Any questions? All you're going to do is pull its head off. Good to go. And you might see a lot of the feeds in there where it's been eaten before it got shot. What the? Where it's storing it. But what you can do, right, there's a lot, a lot of things you can do in a survival situation. So you can pluck it. So if I'm in a survival switch, I'm going to pluck it. 100% I'm going to pluck everything because I want the skin on there for the fat and the calories because I want to keep all the fat on it. If I'm in a rush military, we, we skin it. We ain't got time. So in the military, we had cut straight down this, pull the whole fucking skin off it and we're on the go and we'll take the breast off. But in a survival situation, you're going to pluck every bit of it like so. Because you want the skin staying on it. So I've been happy with that so far. Yeah. But I don't want the skin staying on it, so I'm going to be dead quick. So what we do, right, we have pulled his head off, the seeds out. What I'm going to take off today is the breast. Like I said, you can't eat the legs, you can just loads of meat on it. But I always want you to have for breakfast is the breast. Look at it in half. Same as what Jamie told you yesterday with the pheasants. You're just splitting it in half. I'm not messing about, I'm not, I'm not even using a knife. In a military world, I'd skin it. I'll literally skin it, I'm not going to pluck, but we're here in the survival, we want to take all the fat off and we'll take all the meat and we'll use all the decent parts of it. I haven't burst not on it, I haven't burst it internal organs, exactly the same as Jamie taught you yesterday. We're splitting it in half, we haven't fucked nothing up. But all I want in this is a nice breast meat, and, and pigeon breast meat is a delicacy. The skin's still on it. Mm -hmm. Same as chicken, same as pheasants, we do this. And it, in Sia, what we do in the military, we take this off with a blade, take all the skin off, skin it, don't leave no sign. But in the survival situation, I'm plucking it, I don't give a fuck about sign, I want to be found. So I don't mind about this being here. But there's different methods how you do it. So Jamie at the nail on the head the other day, we want to use our knife as least possible. So when I was in the jungle, I had my knife of 21 days, hacking trees down. You couldn't chop nothing. It's like a fucking hammer. So you've got to use yourself, uh, use your, what you've got on you, your own tool. So I'll stick my thumb under under the meat look and I want to keep it as close to the bone as possible because I want to get as much meat off it. All this, just with my thumb, I want it all off. It's all decent meat there. Now look at that. You know when you see people chop meat off a chicken when you've had your roast and you see all bits of meat still on it? Look at that, that's clean as fuck. Every bit of meat's off that. No chemicals and pesticides. <laughs> uh, you can all cook it together there. Yeah, on yours. But then Nick, when we're finishing off the shells I can't got content. this. You can do it. You can. General will help you. You can, definitely can. General will help you. are partner with the general on this, you can. So, me. These girls are about to find out. Just brute force. That's what I did with the pheasants. Yeah. General, I've got a friend who wants to say hi. Hello, my friend. I want to get the sound effect. I've killed a live chicken before, and then when we were all there doing it with the recruit, the guy passed out in front of us. He was like, literally like nearly 30. Really? He was just, and I thought he was a really strong guy, but he just passed out. What are you for? So all you're going to do is pull his head off, go treat the fire. Oh, I think I fucked the breast up there. That's some of it on some wing, isn't it? Yeah, pull up, peel it off, it's always. All right, we'll peel some of that off in a sec then. Do you know what? We actually... I haven't digested any of that, has it? <laughs> feels sick. No, it's literally on the floor, dead. It's disgusting. Maddie, do you wanna, uh, who's going to maintain fire, Ethan? Do you want to do a little maintaining yeah, as well? Yeah, I'm going to maintain the fire. 
Right. Where's the uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, is that the other breast on the other side? Because I've already ripped that other breast off, haven't I? Yeah. I'll stay with Nick. Yeah, he's come off the bone there, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's you, that breast there. Off. Yeah, and just peel that off, put your thumb in. So you've got your fingers down the pigeon's neck right now. Just rip that one out there. It's a lot harder to gut than the. Just that, like. There it is. And, and then just yank it off oh, as hard as you can. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Right on, Maddie. That's it here. I'll put it in the fire. I'm so sorry, mate. Yeah. I'm so sorry. The wings are quite hard. You got to yeah, proper yank it. Hold, hold the whole body and just yank the head off. I have got the head off. I can't get the wings off. I can't do this. Oh, you got the head off. Ooh. I think. Did you empty? Uh... Wait, wait, Maddie he twisted it first. Do a twist and then pull. So like wrap it round a few times. Oh. Yeah, that's it. And then and then empty that out. Give it a little. Get rid of all the little. There you go. Get rid of some of that. Nice. This is actually quite grim. Right, General, we got the breast. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the best. Doing good. Yeah, go on. I can't get the wings off. They're too strong. That's why, Maddie, you got to twist it first. If you twist it round and then pull it. That's what um, Steve did. Very up. Then give it a yank. It's just like the pheasant, isn't it? Uh, well, we only need to get put one mess in or two mess in. So it'd be yeah, easy bro. to put all the meat in one. one yeah, we could. All at once, yeah. yeah, we could. We could. Because that's what I did with the pheasant meat. I've just decided to one stop one thinking about it because a minute ago I was really about to be <coughs> sick thinking the fact that I'm get doing a, this. We're going to get someone blowing on that and get some flames. Oh, well, Ethan was meant to maintain. Right, okay, let me just get this bit of breast out. Because um, we have to burn them because oh. we don't want foxes here. Yeah. That's disgusting. Just then, uh, Maddie's made a great point there, right? So I know you are willing to eat this kind of stuff, but I'm going to brief everyone. If you aren't willing to eat the meat, remember, there are jungle dollars at Jeopardy here. You might lose some, yeah. you might gain some from eating it. So just to let you know, alright? Yeah, all your food. Ethan's just going to get the nest in. This does need to get a wee bit more hotter, I think. Yeah. Do you reckon? Because yeah. that, that one there. <coughs> no, the hotter the better. Yeah, true. Get some sticks up here, right? So like, see all these, remember what I was saying? Yeah. See how that darker colour, that's wet. This lighter colour, that's nice and dry, get it in there. Yeah. This is obviously a bit wet, so I'll maybe put that leaning against here. Just get all those dry sticks in. You need to continuously feed your fire. Yeah. I literally cannot get no, warm. It's not, it's not the moment. It's just it's making me aware, like you said. To give her your space off. Yeah. I don't even think it's about the socks though. I think yeah, it's about. I think it's about just in general. In general. <laughs> I love how you say that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> in general. Yeah. It's just me. We're, we're looking after her, I mean, you and it. In yeah. general. Right, take a seat, man. Let's get cosy by the fire. Okay. Get you warmed up. In the general. In general, yeah. I'm gonna, general. Um, that's going to be my catchphrase now. Yeah. It's in general, be, guys. Yeah. Trust our mate yeah. in general. Come on. Love that. I feel like I say that all the time. In yeah. general. Why is Ethan taking about a year to get a mess I in? don't know. Because, like I said, mm. like, Bro, like, give him one job and he can't even get the mess in. Oh. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to move. Nick, I certainly feel bad. Oh my god. Yeah, mess in's calm. Don't worry, mate. I'll go look. I'll go up there in a minute. If we just fill that up with water, you, fill, you, there's a water bottle in there. Yeah. Have, you, have you used yours yet? No, we've got one there. Oh, yeah, we've got is, one that, is that a clean one? Yeah, uh, relatively. Is that from the pheasant? No, so it's mine in my bag. Okay, cool. Right. So there's a water bottle there. If we put water in that, yeah. and then, then we can put the breast on it. Yeah, the pheasant, I haven't got ill from the pheasant. No one has. No, I'm fine. No, yeah. that's, that's, that's the thing. I'm going to go get an oxo cube and we're going to make pigeon oxo. Well, we need to we'll try it boil first. it with yeah. water, get rid of all the contaminants, and then empty it and um, just put the oxo cubes in. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in general, that would be the best way to do it. <laughs> to ask. Okay guys, so I'm uh, Gareth Tickabad, known as GT Fitness 29. So today they're gonna get pushed to the uh, paces, they're gonna expect to uh, increase their heart rates, let's just say, uh, and we're gonna put them against the test with each other and also working in pairs and teams as well. Uh, the main emphasis of today is to sort of incorporate a little bit of teamwork uh, and also see what they're like with a little bit of mental robustness and toughness as well, give them a few challenges, which is gonna pit them up against some, uh, let's just say some nasty hills and features, but also gonna get their body draining pretty quickly, putting them in some, some uncomfortable circumstances and at the same same time trying to draw the characters out of those people as well and see who's got the uh, the right to be here hey. 
Come on, come on, the giant roll. Well done, mate. How you feeling this? Yeah? Feeling well, buddy. Better ground in a minute. That's it. Here we go. That's good, guys. Keep it going. Okay, let's go, left. Let's go, guys. Come on, if you can. Come on, General. Fucking get a move on. Hurry up. Okay, that's good. Straight through, guys. Let's go. Come on. Straight through, good lad. There we go. Well done. All the way through, out to the other side. No, I'll never judge a book by its cover. It's not about the physical appearance and bearing of people and how they look. No, it's about what's inside with the heart and the mind as well. And looking at these guys so far, after being here for three days in these conditions, they all seem to be doing pretty well. Albeit the general struggling, okay, but I think he's a dark horse. Good lad, general, you're doing well, mate. Good, strong. Teamwork, guys, helping. That's it, good lad, come on. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Good. That's it. Come on, yes! Let's go! Let's go, come on! Drive, drive, drive! That's it, that's good, come on! All the way to the car, let's go! Let's go! Good luck, General! Well done, buddy! Okay, guys, so this is the battle bag. Great bit of kit, okay? and it can be used to drop set the weight, okay? Designed by a guy called Chris Rea, uh, sorry, singer, Chris Lear, who's an ex-army physical training corps, really good guy. And this now is going to be rolled out to the Prince Virgin as well, okay? It's a simple system, all right? And basically, you can ditch the weight accordingly, okay? okay? Today, you will not be ditching the weight. You'll be running as it is with the actual bag itself, okay? You'll notice on the bag, it's got a load of straps. Okay, you can carry that if you wish, buddy. Down here. Jump over that. Right on there. So you can carry it as a partner, okay, in pairs. Or if you want to really get them on the on top of your burger, okay? The aim of this, guys, is to get that kit, alright, that medicine ball, your burgers, all the way down this track to where we're going to be met by a helicopter which will take us to safety and what happens. Yeah. You have got 30 seconds here. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was pretty hard. And 20 right. seconds! Decide who's taking what kit. Work as a team. Okay. Alright. 10 seconds! <laughs> Remember guys, at any point, if you're not enjoying it and you're really struggling, let us know, okay? It's not real. All right? Happy? Yeah. Five, four, okay. three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this, let's do this. Okay, but we're going to get down to the track, yeah? Oh. Camera, how are you feeling right now? I'm fucking awesome. Do you guys want to tell, tell the camera how are you feeling right now? Good. It's a bit cold to be fair, mate. Cold and wet. But we do have, like Steve said, cheerfulness in the face of adversity. That's, 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 that's Steve's quote. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Oh no, I've done it before.
we're going to do a little bit of a fun mini fitness session, okay? Incorporate some skills that we used to do in the military, all right? Involving some drags, okay? But before we do that, just to get you in the, in the sort of moment, all right? And get you guys thinking about things. When I say go, what's going to happen is you're going to push up to where Steve Kelly's going to be stood a little bit further there. Look on the left. You're going to bear crawl, okay? All the way up to Steve. And then you're going to sprint back to this position here. Jog on the spot, wait for your next command. Is everyone happy? Yeah. Stand by, go! Off you go, bear crawl. Let's go. Come on, get a grip. Let's go. Start fucking moving. Get your asses down. Come on. All the way, let's go. Keep it going. That's it, good. All the way up, back down, let's go to the bar, go! That's it, back down. Jump, 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 jump,
I'll leave that for you. How many stars do we get? Five hundred. Okay. So we take your coat off. Yeah, G, get the coat off, G. G, get your coat off. Yeah, keep keep as much dry as you can. Take take all your layers off so you've got something to put on. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. General, let's do this. Into the fucking stream. <laughs> good guys, well done. Good luck. Hey! Well done. Yeah, good luck. Let's go, 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 let's go,
which didn't help. Maddie and Nick struggled a little bit, but really cracked on. And I was impressed with all three of you. So I'm not going to have a second, third, <laughs> fourth. I'm going to have three equal seconds because oh, each, each nice of you one. had merits in some areas. Some of your cutting was better. Some of your holes were better. Some of your finishing was better. But at the end of the day, you all finished up about the same time. So for each of you on second place, we got three equal seconds with 300 jungle dollars each. So that's 400, 300, 300, 300. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. easy, well, I like how generous Chris is with yeah. the dollars. You lot, we're tight. Tight, tight, tight as. <laughs> oh, yeah, please. Oh, yeah. There you go, General. There's another 300 bucks. Oh, you got 400, General. Yeah. So you're just going to give me General, No, General got 400. Why? No, you joined three. There's only Ethan got four. Oh. So, of course. That was a big challenge we just did there, running about, fully loaded, kitted out. But I've seen a lot of teamwork. i also seen a lot of people pushing beyond their boundaries. So, for first place, we're going to give $300 to the general. general. Come on, General. Come on, General. Come on, General. Come on, general. He's absolutely flying. General, the mate. Bro, we got to go LV after this, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, now I'm going to give 200 to everybody else. Right. Here you go. Do me and General get our bonus 500 for the waterfall? Just relax. So, I'm so excited for the dollar show. I mean, General's blowing. Okay, so that was a tough challenge. And then we got to a river, and there was two people went in. One person got fully submerged. So, of course, we're going we're gonna to give you some dollars for that. General, I'll give you some more here. There's another two. Yeah, I'm still it's got it. It looks like we know. Yeah, I'm rich now. Oh. Sorry. Squeaky man. Here you go. <laughs> okay, so well done, everyone. Doing a bush tucker trial. What I need everyone to do is you're going to stay in this location. Now, we're just going to move forward. I'm going to call two people forward at a time. Then you have the option to turn food down or eat it. And every time you eat it, going up the levels, you're going to earn more jungle dollars this time. Oh, Are you going to prepare it? You can eat these raw. You can eat these raw. But for, like, I keep going on about my insurance. Well, I've got a my insurance. Everyone's going, to, everyone's going to be cooked when I do all my events. So we're going to cook it. But you can eat them raw. If you're in a survival situation, <laughs> you can eat them raw. But I'm going to make it as palatable as possible. You can eat this whole. But if you're out with a group of people who physically can't eat insects, you've got to make it uh, palatable for them if they're in a survival situation. So you need to work as a team. Look at him, he's warming up now, so he's kicking. First thing you do is grab him by his body, grab him by his head, head and guts out. Done. He's dead, didn't feel that. Now, if you look at the back of the cricket, mm. he's got little spiky legs. You see the little spikes? Mm. See the little spikes? Mm. Just on the back bits of the legs. Mm. Little spikes. So all I want to do, at the joints, I want to keep his leg, because that's where all the meat is, but at the joints of his kneecap, I'm just going to take the spiky bits off. Like I said, you can eat all this. Don't stop you eating it, but I'm trying to make it as palatable as possible. But you yeah, are not yeah. only, yeah, you are not only having one. Spoken, yeah. For the challenge, you need to have five on a skewer. Five. Yeah. And all they taste like, I tell you now, they taste like chicken skin. They're not bad. But it's just a thought of it. And all you want to do is get golden brown. So you'll have five of them. I don't want you eating off the skewers. You cook them all up. Take them all off in your hands. When you've cooked them all up, then throw five in your mouth. But you've got to think of your survival section as well. The last thing you want to do is injure yourself. Yeah. And if you've got a bunt mouth, that's going to stop you eating. It's going to make you stop you drinking. It could cause infection. So you've got to look after yourself. Try that. That's juicy. Juicy, oily. And it tastes like chicken. Who's up for this? So you want to use a bit of hay and stick the hay through its uh, body. Don't you need to be just frazzled up a bit? You're just burning parasites in the back. Just parasite, you know. And you done yours? No, see that far? It's the way one that'll be done, man. They only need 30 yeah. seconds on the fire. Take, take them off. See these yeah. two? They're well get done. Them off. They're well done. What, my one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it that one too, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's good. It's good. It's good to go. It's good to go, mate. That's a big old one there. I'll take them if you want it. Right, Jim, are you ready? Do you want one, lads? No. This one is... Five for hundred, you are tight. My hand's dead. <laughs> what, what it Warm your hands up. Shit. And this is a quickie. I don't think it tastes like anything, it, to be honest. That's 
Down the hatch. The, what was it like? Down the hatch Good. up the Tastes like shit, mate. Yeah, yeah. Mate, this is a big old cricket, you know, bro. He's right, it's chicken skin. Give me the big chicken one. Chicken skin. Huh? It is, yeah. Huh? It's it's a lot of them are banned. Wow, his nervous system's ah! still going. Don't, ah! don't, 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 don't. Are you ready for some more pressure? First finished, gets a bonus. Yeah, chopping up third one, G. I'm only having one. I ain't this is one. my third one. Hold that, hold that for me. Hold that for me. Yeah. So you're not doing the full thing then, though? Hold, no? hold it, hold I'll it, hold it. it. Hold it. You're not doing any more? I'll do one. Oh, why is he still moving? I just took his head off and he's moving still. Dry gloves in there that I've taken off. That's fucking weird, you know. Fingerless. General, what number are you on now? Fucking weird. Oh, two. 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 But I'm not going to... I'm not gonna. Can you swim for one up? I'm gonna cook them all and just Maddie do them all. Go. Doing five, them one by one. Maddie's aged five crickets. So I'm gonna cook right, this, Maddie, give me another Maddie, one, and then I'll just pop. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't pop four. Like. Four, well, five. I've had one, so I'd have to do four at once, yeah. Right, That's what I'm playing to. On two, on two. Unless someone's moving. On two, my fourth. Got a one up? Yeah, well done. So Maddie was finished first. So we all know if you eat five, you get $100. And if you finish first, you get an extra $100. dollars a winner. So the winner is Maddie. Oh, Thank you. Go ahead, Maddie. There you go. Yay. 200 bucks. Take a cricket just to, need, just to show everyone more. on camera that Sorry? she's the cricket more. queen. She's the cricket. Crick. The cricket. Three more crickets have we made dollars. <laughs> okay, so the next the next challenge is going forward. You're not allowed to wash it down with water, right? So we need to see oh, an yeah, empty yeah, mouth. I don't even have water. <laughs> we need to what it is. What is it? I don't have water. We'll show you. We need to see an empty mouth, okay? And then you will get your dollars. Remember, there is a bonus for the first finish. So are you ready for the next challenge? Yeah. Ready when you are, man. Maddie, Nick, take a okay. board. Cheers, Thanks, That's what is disgusting. it? disgusting. What is it? That's that a is? fucking tongue, bro. Oh, That's a fucking tongue. It's a fox tongue, isn't it? Can we eat it that like this? Oh, no, no, no. Listen, you won't be eating anything raw. You just have to cook everything, okay? Right, tongue? Yeah. That's tongue, We're bro. Fine. <laughs> Go for it then. Well, yeah, but I, I, I thought. Oh, great. So it's actually getting better. So you need, you need to cook it, right? So, right. Right. first finish gets. Well, so if you eat it completely, you get $200. First finish gets a $200 bonus. Could you just tell us what it is? So, this is fox tongue. Cook pretty quickly. Yeah. She's, she's giving me a run for my hey, money. What are you saying? It says this yeah, reminds me of that doesn't fall, Maddie. Else, Maddie, right? that looks it. Uh, Steve, uh? is that going to fall? It looks like. Um, no. Little, Steve, Steve, have you got a little like? A, one, can you make one of them little? Them so things stick it on this here on the wood here and the heat to cook it. So I can bring it closer. Okay. Okay. Dude, we're four years old. Any good, Maddie? Didn't you want a video? I don't. Maddie just swallowed it. <laughs> Wait, what? You're I want to give you a chance so to video weird. it. <laughs> wow. Wait, did you eat it? Yeah. Oh, German Where box is tough. Did you see it? I watched the hatch. I am. I didn't see that. I did. Mom, mm, it really? tastes like mushrooms. Actually, um, that's she's right. right. It tastes, tastes like, like mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's wow. like mushrooms. Oh, I fucking love mushrooms, to be fair. It tastes like mushrooms. Do you want to, uh, do you want to give us a little pass <laughs> yeah. over, Steve? Yeah, yeah see, look, it's gone. It's like mushrooms on a skewer. Fox's tongue. It's protein, isn't it? Just eat Just it, man. Chew? Just chew it in and spit Oh, he's thinking too much <laughs> Mate, about it. I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to have this, so you're doing better than You're me. thinking too much, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a minute, innit? <laughs> Did you eat yours? Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> it's competitive spirit in him. <laughs> it's in my brain now, you know? Okay, everyone, so the next challenge, the next eating challenge, is fox brain. That's calm. <laughs> That's going to be very iron based taste, isn't it? Oh, oh my God. fucking God. It's so there's one fox brain, and you'll cut it up into four sections. First one finish gets a bonus. If you eat it, you get $300. And the bonus is $300. We so all know potentially eating, someone could walk away with $600. <laughs> yeah, she's too quick Maddie, with $600 Quick there. muncher, let's go. Okay, $600 I'm going to place this down and then the clock's ticking. But what about like cutting it into four pieces first? Come on, let's go. It's going to slide off that thing and remember, if it disappears into the fire, this woman has something wrong with her. Look at how keen she is, I, you? You're not going to kiss her. Um, <laughs> 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 Don't want to kiss anyway, you're my ex. 
Oh, that was a major oh, That was fucking pain. Yeah, that was an L, bro. That was, <laughs> that was so painful. That <laughs> hurt me. Hey, Tom. Right, come on, then. Yeah. You know how you feel, oh, man? I get that shit, like, too much. My one's first, mate. Oh, oh don't drop that. Don't drop that. What on there? Uh, oh, <coughs> You said cook it first, you know. Did you fucking just put that in the room? I went to, I didn't realise I had to cook it. I've told you oh four times you need to cook <laughs> everything. Sorry, sorry. Listen to what I'm saying. Sorry, G, sorry. G, just go for seconds. Uh, You're not going to eat yours. Come on, Maddie! What, mate? What do you, you mean? never eat nice, What? No, what do you mean I never eat it? Don't you be don't. playing games with me like that. You don't. Did you like it? Yeah. It's alright. Go, <laughs> General. Big up, big up. Oh my God. Yeah, Nick, also, it makes absolutely no sense because. Ow. Get it off with this stick. Oh, my God. Ouch. Oh, it's got fucking. Well, it's not really a piece, though, is it? That, it's not even that bad. Go for it, G. Not fucking. Um, Fox's, Fox's brain. brain. Down the hatch. Just sure so cool. That is. Oh, well, the mains are going to rot. How did I find it? Yeah, to be honest, mate, it was actually really good. You know, we came out there, we didn't expect to be eating pheasant, that's for sure. Fox's brains, ugh, pigeon, that was grim, but general ate it though, cooked it. But yeah, we had a laugh. I feel like we all grew closer as guys because obviously I, I've never even met the general. I've only met you once, Ethan. We all clo uh, grew closer together, and that's what it's all about a bit of brotherhood and with the lady as well, <laughs> out in the wild. So uh, no, I really enjoyed it and I would love to be the winner to come back for mm -hmm. season two. Uh, I was cold, but I'm quite proud of myself because everyone is a male here. I'm doing it for the girls. Um, so yeah, I had a good time. Um, the exercise was <laughs> the hardest bit um, just because I hadn't been to the gym for months um, and I was pushing the limits of, you know, me getting oxygen into my lungs while I'm trying trying my best to make everyone else happy. You know what I mean? That's all I could do. I did my absolute best for the whole experience. So it's the taking part that matters. Yeah. But I'm general. I have I have to, you know, do my bit. So this <laughs> this is this is what's gonna stay with me yeah. for the rest of my life. And that oh. just makes me the happiest guy. Ever. And, so that was, and that was XPTI, physical training instructor, Woo! Lord Wayne yeah. Commander, yeah. 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 who gave you that person. Yeah. Exactly. That's amazing. And he said I did a mentality of a woman commando. So, yeah, I just need to get the body now. Literally need to get the body. <laughs> get and then, yeah, get it warm means commando, here I come. From. <laughs> Yesterday, staying warm was tough. Um, I, I didn't think this challenge would be that difficult, to be honest. Um, but with the weather conditions, the wind, um, the water and not moving around too much when we were getting briefed, it was it was tough and it did take effect on me a bit. I was losing my eyesight and getting all shaky. Going um, with hypothermia. Maybe, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I want to thank you for the experience. It was sick. Um, pushed us all out of our comfort zones, I think. And uh, yeah, something we'll, we'll remember for us. Remember for sure. Right, he's already <laughs> here. Who is the champion in season one? I'm a TikToker. Get me out of here. Yes. Remember, there could only be one winner. Yes. And there's got to be losers at the end of the day. Yeah, but it's taking part of the matters. Well, who comes in fourth place? So fourth place is Ethan. Hey. 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 Well done, mate. Good well in, Ethan. So yeah. Ethan adds 800 jungle dollars. So you oh, put yourself out there. It's still quite a lot. Because we had to like do a lot to earn them. Yeah. In third place today, with jungle dollars, of 1500 mm -hmm. that is Maddie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes Maddie. Maddie. Yes, Good Maddie. Effort. Good effort. You've done well, though. You've done well. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> done well. Thank now, you. in second place, with $1,600. And this is now between <laughs> Retniff <laughs> and this is in between. $1,000, please. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. I don't actually know. I, I don't have 1600 <laughs> First in second place is this! Let me get it in the gym number 2000! Yeah. 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 I should have yeah. number 6 I've got! Yeah. 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 Love! Yo, well done General! Right, well so the well General done. is season 1, yeah, Survivor nice. of the TikToker. Well, what I can actually be with you guys in the next one. Yeah. Right, season so 2, mate! Yeah. You're the, the general? Perfect, perfect. perfect.
But what you've won, you're gonna win. A, you're gonna take away a survival tool with you. This yeah. is an entrenching tool. It's a shovel, so you can take a dunk out in the wild. Like your shovel shit. That's perfect. Yeah. And what yeah. you've got in this, it's got an actual monsard and it's got a sword on the other. So you can chop down trees. You can use that in season two. Exactly. Sick. That. And this yeah. is oh, brilliant. So this is from me and Jamie. Oh, that's amazing. And I want to say thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Jamie. 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 Trust Army, for real. Well, I do everything for them. Family and friends are proud of me, but most of all, everyone here, thank you so much for the experience and I very love you all. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Now what we're going to do now to finish this off, we're going to go downstairs and get pissed tonight. Everyone yes! Come on, let's, let's go! go.